Hi beautiful Leos, welcome back to the channel everybody. If you're new here, I welcome you. Let's get rid right at it, Leo, and find out what your messages are. Thanks so much, guys, for your likes, your comments, your subscriptions. If you haven't done so, please do so. It helps me pick up on your energy, guys. Let's find out what's upcoming for Leo in love. What's going on in Leo's love life? What can you tell me about Leo? News information for Leo news information love what's going on for leo what is the information for leo who hello someone got greedy here guys i don't know if it's to do with finances or not but someone created a wedge tried to come in between you and a friend or something that you wanted it could have been over money somebody could have gotten greedy here so somebody's hoping for good luck or getting good luck uh well success is assured here overcoming a problem but needing to plan ahead for something now it could have been in a love situation somebody got greedy here it's that simple they either got greedy in love or they got greedy with money um it's here someone created a wedge they should have planned ahead and they were like let's see leo 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 what's going on hmm. somebody may have been out doing a little drink in here what's going on here creating a problem see it's now a broken wish Someone was hoping for family wishes to come true, but somebody broke that wish. It, it could have been because they were doing too much celebrating, drinking, creating problems. I don't know. A two-faced friend, period. Two-faced friend created a wedge in between someone and someone else. Or with finances or with both. Whoa. It was over money. Some money and love. News is on the way. They might have received some news in February or something that somebody was being undependable and insincere. Now, it, someone deliberately created a wedge in between um, a love union and or finance. It was... going on here January and February is here guys so take it as it resonates now someone's trying to regain themselves slowly but surely keep your life in balance it's like this is not a temporary situation and maybe they figured it was going to be a temporary situation but it's out of balance something it threw everything off balance somebody should have accepted some valid criticism it's like somebody tried to warn somebody or something you know and they go they they were dealing with a two-faced friend period over money a friend at a distance was being two-faced okay warn them you're gonna have a trouble here a friend warned this person, you're going to have a problem. Be careful. You're going to have a, a problem. And it's looking like it's created a financial problem. Somebody was being a two-faced friend. And somebody tried to, to warn them. And I don't know. It was over money and love. met up with some stranger for a little excitement figured they were going to get a bunch of uh, financial things or material things out of the deal uh, it was all for money and i don't know someone was 
yeah you could have been dealing with like the month of june here so you could have been dealing with i i don't know that's gemini month i don't know let's see oh along comes this announcement of either being pregnant or uh i'm having a baby it was deliberate it was to create a wedge in between a love union now they could have partnered up with a person in business as well but they got greedy somebody was being greedy and it, it's backfiring yeah sexual matters <laughs> too much attention to sexual matters now it's like i'm pregnant yeah yeah somebody worked at this wedge yes they did somebody could have gone on a long journey or whatever thinking and thinking they were gonna get uh you know what a so here in September, somebody warned them, you're going to have a problem in the future if you continue on doing what you're doing. We're going to have a problem here. It could have been advice from a spiritual love partner that loved this person and said, look, you are going to have a problem in the future. That person, I don't know, they should have got good advice from a listen to wise advice. Because now there's the start card. I'm pregnant. Creating all these problems. They may have caused an ending. I'm just saying. And a period of ill health, a period of depression, obstacles and challenges and daggers. L tense situation, fears, worries. What the hell? Yeah, family matters. In need of help, assistance, and guidance. I don't know. Just saying. Unsuccessful outcome, period. Should have been at paying attention to the work, and now there's this sorrow over loss. Yeah, major challenges. Prosperity in reverse. Romance in reverse. Not feeling a little romantic now, are they? They were feeling dissatisfied with life, stepped out into a new experience. Boom. I'm pregnant. I want 3.7 kids. I want a house. I want finance. I want money. Give me money. And they were warned. What can I say? They were warned. They were dealing with somebody who is freaking two-faced is what they were dealing with. Whoa, yes. They figured they could fill the chair with someone new. Figured they would be more successful. Could be an older man dealing with this person. I don't know. Did something stupid. Someone did behave like a turkey. Figured they could fill the chair with this younger energy. Hmm. Figured they would get good fortune. Well, that was the idea. All it's done is create them a bunch of worries and lessons to be learned. What's going on here? Yeah, friends in reverse. Doing something risky. This person may have had a friend that warned them, look, you're going to have a problem here. You know, they didn't listen. What's going on here? Yeah, October, some app, see, somebody was working against them. I'm telling you. 
it was to increase their net worth, their income. They didn't want to grow spiritually. And they tried to grow financially, but it backfired. Now they're, someone else has, his could have been a secret admirer now, I don't know, wanting to give somebody a gift or something. It set off a chain of events, all the secrets that come out. It's like going on this journey. What? There could have been a marriage involved. Or, um, that may have been the goal, to marry somebody, snag them down with a, yeah. They weren't listening to their intuition. And now they're playing this different role. Happiness in reverse. Exciting event in reverse. It's not so exciting now. Judgment in reverse, involvement with the law or family in reverse, broken ring. Jesus Christ, guys, this energy is like What they thought was going to be some excitement ended up being something that made them very unhappy. It's broken up a union of who probably they had love for, but figured they'd step out, try new experience, whatever. Family matters are in reverse. Involvement with the law or judgment in reverse. So I don't know what happened here. I really don't. What they thought was going to be exciting is not exciting. So, Jesus. What's going on here for Leo? I'm almost feeling like it's almost like a setup. That's what I'm sensing, a setup. Somebody doing a little bit too much drinking, thinking about sexual things. Oh, probably had like a fling or temporary, something temporary. So like a one night stand or something that they didn't think, but that wasn't what the other person was thinking. The other person was thinking, well, let me fuck up. And it is a Leo I'm picking up on, a masculine Leo. So I'm picking up that this masculine Leo was thinking, let me go and have some fun here. Okay? Um, thinking that they would find something exciting. Maybe did a one night stand. Well, this karmic energy, and it is a karmic. Come back going, I'm pregnant. What? I'm hearing this masculine go, what? What do you mean you're pregnant? No, I'm pregnant. They had marriage on their mind. They had uh, finances on their mind. It's a setup. I'm feeling a deliberate setup. And whoever this was, who was giving them advice, was doing it deliberately to fuck up this masculine Leo. Okay? Others of you Leos, this could have happened to you. It can be rules reverse. Just saying. It's all here. Now, whatever. They thought it might be exciting or try... Uh, yeah, now they... They're sitting here hoping for compassion. They're heavily burdened. Probably want to reconcile with the person that they were with. The other person has got their freedom. And they're trapped.
this other energy is getting good luck, getting answers, building up their self-confidence, fulfilling their life purpose now. Manifesting happiness back in their life could be traveling. I don't know. Let's see what's going on here. Someone had to set up boundaries. Because they were obviously got the truth about something or went finding the truth maybe the spirit guide gave them the truth and now they're just sitting they're highly psychic they could have uh, you could be an intuitive a card reader this is what you could do for a life for a living you could have been you could be a spirit guide or do this for a living but <laughs> You've discovered your life purpose through this whole thing. And now somebody may want your forgiveness, want a new beginning. You've empowered yourself. You're on a new beginning. Mm. And now you're protecting your, your dreams. You want peace. That's Leo Courage. Someone is healing, receiving blessings. Yeah, now this person wants to come home, wants to give justice. Because they're grieving now. My God. Oh, why do people got to do this? They should be strong. So, I don't know. It's just a bunch of mayhem. That's what I'm seeing. Somebody did something foolish. And now there's no... Somebody warned them. What happened to this situation? What's going on here, Spirit? If you're this feminine, Leo, now know that this could have happened to you with any masculine. It doesn't have to be a male Leo. I'm just saying I instinctively know, and by the cards, this is a masculine Leo for some cases. That went out, stepped out, probably hooked up with somebody else, you know, um, it could be a Gemini because the energy is here. Um, stepped out into a new situation. Uh, could have been September. Could have been October. All these dates, January, February, October, September, June, are all important. And now, no, they're not happy where they are. Hmm. Lesson learned. Engaging in risky behavior, I'm just saying right now, is to teach this person a lesson. Now they could be a father, but let's see. They could have children. Yeah. And now they want... I don't know, they could have thought, Oh, this person is my soulmate. They're so exciting. They're so lively. And now they might have children. Either that or now their lesson been learned, they're doing a lot of thinking about their soulmate, how happy that they were hoping to hear good news from their past person. Who they have fond memories of. I don't know. I'm just saying, well, what? See? Now there's this harsh reality here. The truth. Someone seeing the truth or waiting on to see if they're going to hear good news of some type. I don't know what this is. Someone being may have to make a head over heart decision. And it's like about commitment or this could have been like a long term situation that they were in. Somebody could have been out acting single in a long-term commi uh, commitment. I, I don't know what this is. It left somebody single. Everything has changed. Changed everything. This one move. 
And now here is love. What? Um, if they thought they were, okay, they could have been deceived about, uh, this could be DNA results coming in or some type of investigation being done on a family situation. Well, it's in reverse. It's in reverse. There's been some betrayal here in this family dynamic somehow. Somebody got an aha moment. Somebody... So... Somebody was slowly and surely trying to get ahead here or was too slow making a move. Somebody got an epiphany moment like um learned something aha mm. i don't know what this is saying somebody was either scared or they were hiding something or now they're very emotional about something I don't know. Somebody's looking back. They're looking, made a decision. What do I do here? Somebody walked away. They had no choice but to leave someone out in the cold. It's like they had to set boundaries for their own good here. So it's looking like the divine counterpart set up some sort of boundaries. They're very passionate about this person, but they had to make a decision to have balance in their own life. And it's almost like this person kept procrastinating or kept waiting and waiting and waiting. Maybe they were waiting to see what else is out there. This person, then their divine counterpart, had to walk away. Because this person kept stalling and waiting. Now they're looking back at the past person. Okay, this is somebody who was nurturing. Someone who was loving. Somebody who... Um, had to decide to love themselves enough, have enough self-respect and self-love to care for themselves because this person was out fooling around. Their intuition told them. Okay? So what's going on here? Yeah. Someone took action on their passions and it ended the situation. Someone was juggling. And somebody knew the truth. The truth came out. That someone was lying and cheating and being deceptive. So uh, they had no choice. Any self-respect. So the, I told you it is a masculine Leo who was doing this. I knew for a fact it was. So, they were juggling their divine partner. So, what choice did this person have to, but to move on toward their own happiness? You know? Yeah. What caused the tower? Now, if you weren't dealing with a masculine Leo who was doing this, no, it's someone who is in that energy, who normally is a go-getter, a leader, but uh, they were not in their full power. 
They absolutely were not. It's like fate. Someone stood in their power, in their courage. They had no choice but to protect themselves from any third party energies. I mean, when you're dealing with anybody who has psychic abilities or has the least amount of intuition, they're going to protect themselves. It's like, yeah, somebody went out there romancing, uh, fulfilling somebody else's wishes. You know what I mean? It's a... Um, it's an opportunity and here is like this person now someone came in between a situation and I told you it is this Gemini energy it is here again so somebody w was trying to fulfill some sort of wishes go romancing a third party who like just came in and acted as a wedge in between a divine union creating a breakout causing this person to confuse them creating like an illusion which way do I go? What do I do here? It's It, it was a self-delusion. They deluded themselves. Creating all this sadness. Okay? Yeah. Someone ran. You know what I mean? Or rushed in. So something, somebody could have been a runner and like started investing somewhere else. Like they just break hearts, run and quickly invest in someone else. It was like, boom, you know, just go rushing in. Yeah, they don't think, they're impulsive. They just do things on impulse, right? They weren't thinking. It's like, I don't know. <sighs> Some justice here. This emperor got greedy. He's getting justice. I don't know if they were met this person at work but they wanted to keep their options open so this person who i'm reading for really should have been strong instead they took the coward way out they bolted they ran probably no explanation nothing just like okay um like hanging out the laundry, you know? But this person was being greedy and couldn't choose, couldn't decide what they wanted to do. They took the coward way out. I'm sorry they did. Now it's like they could have like thought that they were getting uh, went traveling or they went on a journey somehow. And it's like created their own confusion. I'm saying there is like creating obstacles and challenges and messagings and 
this third party actually did create a wedge, okay? Kept this person stuck. To keep this person stuck. Now there's all this nightmare energy, worry, stress, and it's like they could have started communicating with, I don't know, started obsessing about now they're getting judgment for being the devil. I don't know. Empress took her power back and is on a new cycle. I told you some magician was confusing this king of wands. Burdening them. Now they're heavily burdened by whatever they were working on. They could have then ghosted somebody I don't know trapped so trap they fell into a trap And I'm thinking that this third party blocked all communication between the feminine, divine feminine energy and this emperor energy. So what's going to be the outcome here for this emperor? What is the outcome for this emperor? Player energy. And it's like now they want to reconcile and recapture this person this could be the one this is your soulmate now they want to reconcile with their past person it's true love this was a romance of a lifetime but this person decided to flirt, go away with someone else, uh, th making up all kinds of excuses about finance and career. Oh, this is the problem. That's the problem. No, this person was the problem. Okay, let's go on here. Forgiving and learning. Well, I've learned my lesson. Please forgive me. They want to express their love now. Spirit saying, love yourself first. Because it was unrequited love in the past. They did not give you what you gave them. Uh, there's no trust. Trust is broke. But somebody is going to make the effort. Some of you may give this a chance. Others of you, you're not giving it a chance. It's crossing the reed. Uh, this person was actually codependent and you freed yourself and it's like there was a lot of passion there but hmm. Hmm. children in reverse interesting was this a setup? This person said, I'm pregnant. Uh, I don't know. This person could be lying if there's children involved over here. They're almost saying, like, they're not their children. So pay attention to the red flags. I'd get more evidence. They're saying there are too many religious factors over here, financial uh, situations, I don't know. 
some of you are going divine timing is at work in your love life some of you have been waiting for this person I think they're going through a separation yeah release your their ex and your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment so whatever says to keep an open mind let your friends help you clearly decide what you want so it comes to you now calling in your soulmate so they're calling you in it's a past life relationship others of you are just like no I'm dealing with new love only also new love is rekindling of old love you're, it's going to be your choice because they're calling you in or you're calling them in saying it's a past life relationship which is makes it even worse so uh, you know more than likely it's twin flame or at least a past life soul connection a soul tie here so i'm just saying oh my god yeah, that person was more than a flirt. But they're saying it's unrequited love over here. Or you felt it was unrequited because you were giving more than what the other person was giving. They were too busy giving elsewhere, obviously. So they kind of screwed them own selves over here. I can see that you know they're heavily burdened here. They were saying that they were confused, maybe they were lied to, maybe there was jealousy or hatred or gossip they were listening to. Um, they were saying that it, they're stuck, they're feeling stuck. The truth is they wanted to keep their options open, they're a runner. they're impulsive they like have a history of leaving a trail of broken hearts i just know that They're not doing too good over there, wherever they are. I do know that this divine partner is doing well. And there is a soulmate connection, but I'm telling you, the past wants to return. It is a past life soulmate. You just don't forget a bond like that if you ever get it. So it's like... Yeah, someone created a wedge, all right. Someone did. And it obviously is this third party who created a wedge. Or this person created their own wedge by their own actions. Take care, beautiful Leos, and good luck with it.